Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I am coming to you today from Disney Springs to show you guys some new construction updates that we have going on. Also, some new stores have opened and some restaurants have finally reopened and they've been closed since the pandemic first started. And it seems like every day Disney is releasing some new merchandise. So I'm gonna show you guys some new merchandise around Disney Springs and hopefully I can find that Haunted Mansion Magic Band. We do have a rainstorm coming in, so I am prepared. I brought the umbrella, but the sun is out, so we're gonna make the most out of it. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. We are starting today's adventure on the west side of Disney Springs here at Cirque Soleil. Some news coming in this week. The new show, Drawn to Life, has been pushed back to early next year. This new show was supposed to open early this year. House of Blues has reopened with City Works, both open for business. I'm not really sure why, but the NBA experience has yet to reopen, even with the NBA being in town. And here's a look at the M&M store that's coming down here. I am excited for this, but they still have a lot of work to do. This will be right next to Splitsville and the NBA experience. It also looks like Splitsville has finally reopened with the outside bar. But the really big news, AMC has finally reopened here at Disney Springs. It looks like they are showing some classic movies, Back to the Future, Beauty and the Beast, Black Panther, The Goonies, and it looks like the newest movie, Unhinged. So Ample Hills was supposed to open up their second location right here next to AMC Theaters. But if you have not heard, they recently filed for bankruptcy. The location here and the location at Boardwalk has been closed. And right across the street, Beatrix is still set to open, but we don't have an opening date. But we can see some new construction right in front here. Not really sure what that is but this is another restaurant that I am really excited for. Ooh, let's see if the Candy Cauldron has any new Halloween snacks. Well, I am not seeing any new Halloween snacks or treats. You can still find all your classic delicious Disney treats here inside the Candy Cauldron. And they are no longer making the caramel apples here at the window. Oh dear, it's getting pretty windy outside. Let's go check out the Star Wars Galactic Outpost for any new merchandise. They have plenty of the Child Funko Pops aka baby yoda and also they have this massive one check out this millennium falcon bag that's awesome also the bill Joan lightsaber stations are still closed they have a ton of the 40th anniversary of the empire strikes back merchandise here inside the store i like this one a lot this time tomorrow i'll be enjoying a pumpkin cold brew from Starbucks as tomorrow pumpkin returns to all Starbucks nationwide. It is very very windy this afternoon so the air balloon is not operating today. Let's see if we can find any new merchandise inside Disney style. Oh my goodness I love this t-shirt and look at this one it's Quasimodo. Also have a Miko hoodie. Holy cow. Look at this new Milan backpack. Also, check out this Pocahontas tank top. They also have a Tarzan t-shirt. I really like this, but Disney makes everything so cool for ladies and not really for men. Look at this Ursula t-shirt. That really reminds me of merchandise at Tokyo Disneyland. They also have a Pluto t-shirt and a DuckTales t-shirt. Look at these two t-shirts. We have a Hades one and a Hercules one. Three new restaurants have finally reopened. Maria and Enzo's and Enzo's Hideaway Tunnel Bar and Restaurant. And one of my favorite restaurants here on property, the Edison, they have all finally reopened. I have been seeing some crazy pictures online of Disney Springs just being ridiculously packed full of people and a lot of people not wearing a face covering. But lately, especially today, it is empty. Not that many people are here right now. It is a Monday afternoon and most schools have already started back to school. But 
yeah, everybody seems to be wearing a face covering today. Not that bad at all. Oh, yes. Now this, I am extremely excited for. The best cookie I have ever had in my life from Gideon's. Coming here to Disney Springs towards the end of this year. It is so hot today, I just want to jump in this beautiful water. Oh, that would be nice. I just went inside Sprinkles and I asked, did they have the pumpkin cupcakes? Not yet, coming at the end of this month or early September. The new Lululemon store just opened this past weekend. Let's head inside. Ooh, this store smells brand new. It's really nice inside. I only know this because of my sister. She loves this store, but I believe their leggings are like very popular here and they have a ton of them. But this store is on the pricier side for a pair of basketball shorts for myself, $68. Looks like Love Pop is heading here to Disney Springs, coming soon, right next to Ron John. This Starbucks right outside of the world of Disney, they still have the shark attack and they are still offering that welcome back drink. Let's head inside the world of Disney, see if we can find any new merchandise. There's no line. They have some brand new Milan merchandise just in time for the movie to be released on Disney Plus. Whoa, that's a lot of Disney merchandise. I like this new Mickey Mouse rain jacket. All of the Disney Americana collection, all of it 30% off, including the Disney Parks lounge fly bags. Some new Disney and NBA merchandise celebrating making history this season. Some t-shirts. Tank top. A new spirit jersey. A hoodie. I actually really like this a lot. A phone case. And a magic band. There's a few new Haunted Mansion dresses for $128. I'm not seeing any new Halloween merchandise. I have done a full video. I'll leave that video link down in the description. Inside the world of Disney, they are fully restocked on all sizes in the all new Haunted Mansion Spirit Jersey. Well, no Haunted Mansion Magic Band in here. I'm gonna keep looking. Next up, Marketplace Co-op. Check out the new Tower of Terror dress for $128. And then on the back, Now that's cool. I am sanitizing, don't worry. All right, this is kind of my last hope to try to find that Haunted Mansion Magic Band. Oh my goodness, I have finally found what I have been looking for for the past week. The Haunted Mansion Magic Band. Looks like they have plenty in stock. Here's one new Halloween pin that I did not see the other day. I was ready to give up, guys. I was so close to just ordering it on Shop Disney, but I finally found the Haunted Mansion Magic Band I've been looking for. By the way, the train has reopened. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this. It is open. Rainforest Cafe has reopened. I wanna talk about this deal that I find very useful every single year and it's called Orlando's Magical Dining. It is returning this year for 38 delicious days from August 28th through October 4th. This includes 50 Orlando area restaurants offering three course prefix dinner menus for just $35 per person. And since this year is kind of crazy, they are offering open air dining and takeout and delivery services. Also, $1 of every meal served will directly benefit Feed the Need Florida, which provides meals to those who are struggling with getting access to healthy food during the COVID-19 crisis. And I'm telling you guys this because Paddlefish is participating and Terralina will be participating also. I really like this Orlando Magical Dining because you're able to eat at some of the really fancy and really expensive restaurants around Orlando for only 35 bucks. It's a great deal. I like how Disney just added a sticker for Disney Plus about Milan not coming to theaters. All right, that's gonna do it here from Disney Springs, but the vlog is not over. So the theme parks have been hurting financially from lost profit with both Disney and Universal. A lot of people are not coming back to the theme parks. And in order to make up for that lost profit, Disney and Universal they had to make brand new merchandise and bring it to the parks. That way, new merchandise makes people come back. And also, 
AP holders and Florida residents, we eat up anything new. Minnie Mouse ears, spirit jerseys, magic bands, pins, dresses, pretty much anything new we will get our hands on. So with Universal releasing all the Halloween Horror Nights merchandise, huge profit for them. Disney, all the Halloween merchandise, the new Minnie Mouse ears, huge profit for them. Like when Magic Kingdom reopened, before it even reopened for previews, all that Splash Mountain merchandise was gone. So that's why I am here at the Orlando Vineland Outlets, and these are the outlets closest to Walt Disney World. So why isn't the Disney Character Warehouse open if Disney is losing so much money? And I know for a fact, once this Character Warehouse does reopen, people will eat up all that merchandise. Let's go over here, peek our head through the window, see if Disney has installed any plexiglass, added any new merchandise, changed anything around, because those would be signs that they are planning to open very soon. Face masks are required to shop here. All right, here we are. It has been forever since I've walked through these doors. And just by the look of it, I am not seeing anything new in this location. They still have the It's a Small World ears and no signs of the plexiglass installed on the cash registers. Dang, I was hoping this would open soon. It's pretty empty inside. Well, I don't know what this is. That looks new. Who knows? Closed until further notice. I am not seeing anything on this side either. A lot of families are coming up a little upset because they did not know this was still closed. That's why you always check, always call, always Google to make sure stores and restaurants are open. That way you don't have to make the trip out. And as we see, the mall isn't that busy. It's a little sad because this mall is always so crowded and so busy. Okay, well, it does not look like Disney is planning on reopening the Disney Character Warehouse anytime soon, at least this location here on Vineland. Now there is another one more towards Universal, but that one doesn't look like it's gonna be opening either. But it was a fun, successful day over at Disney Springs. I took you guys around the entire property to show you any new construction updates, new stores, restaurants reopening, new merchandise. It was fun and we got a lot done. And it wasn't too crowded. And for the most part, everybody was wearing a face mask today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel in so many different ways. If you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often. And make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely In a room and it's time to end the right They need to slowly Where those can lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside Otherwise you told me Am I reading something different from your eyes